Good morning. Welcome back to Crochet Rocks to a Rocks Chat. Tracy here and if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Well, I was busy yesterday. I was busy making swatches for some yarn that a lot of people find very difficult to work with so I thought I'd give it a go and I did try it. <coughs> Excuse me. I tried to make these with it and it was a bit of of a nightmare it might have just been that i tried at night um in the evening and it was a bit of the wrong time to actually uh try and do it so i tried again during the day and they just turned out humongous <laughs> so i was like oh, well, i've abandoned this idea and um do some swatches with it and see how it works up in different ways and it is very difficult to work with because it's draggy and i thought i would do some swatches with it so but i started off doing that and then i thought you know what i was going to make a set for these so what i did was i set about seeing if i can make them in different sizes so i did like mittens in the newborn and then i did the next size up in the next one and then i tried gigantic ones in this color obviously they won't fit the same foot so um yeah i wanted to see the different ways of um making them bigger so we've got six to nine months three to six months and naught to three and they cute cuteness personified even so yeah i'll do a tutorial on those at some point and um that's what i was doing so yeah i um I forgot about the sprint shootout and I thought, oh no, and it was already on. <clears throat> so I quickly caught up and it was only kind of sprint qualifying. I don't know why they call it shootout. It's a stupid thing. Just call it qualifying and everybody knows what it is. And anyway, um, the actual proper race is this afternoon. Well, actually about six o'clock hour time and it probably isn't straight away. At least Gary will get to see it because he's at work, which is a good thing. <coughs> I had a strange dream yesterday, I forgot to tell you. I dreamt, and I've never been a fan of this person, right? And it wasn't like now, it was at a time probably in the 80s. Not that we went back in the 80s, there was no time, but that's how we looked. I dreamt that I met Paul McCartney, and we sat and had a good old chat, and he invited me to his wedding. <laughs> strange. Is that? I mean, Paul McCartney. I've never been a Paul McCartney fan, and he looked the same as if as he did sort of thing when he made um, the songs with Michael Jackson. You know, say 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 and all that. <laughs> How strange is that? Paul McCartney. It's like dreaming of someone that you've never really been a fan of much. You know, and like why? Why him? Sometimes I have these kind of premonitions and I dream about somebody dying or something like that and it, and it actually, they, a little while later, they done like the Pope. I dreamt the Pope died. I mean, I'm not Catholic, but I had this big dream that the Pope died. I was working on the newspaper and then the next morning the Pope died. So I was watching out for news of Paul McCartney yesterday, but he's fine, allegedly. Anyway, let's have a look at the joke before I kill anyone else. Why are retirees slow to clean out the basement or the attic or the garage? I feel like this would be garage. <clears throat> because they know as soon as they do, one of their adult kids will want to store all their rubbish in it. <laughs> it's very... <coughs> oh, very true, actually. <coughs> Excuse me, I do have a bit of a... A bit of a um a tickle today it's asthma actually i need to put my inhaler um yeah that's basically what i was doing with myself oh no not just i mean i made videos and recorded stuff for other days like um my open with me for monday and i had a bit of an experiment with times <laughs> yesterday i watched this video and um, it was on about, oh, how can I get dry skin after I've just done all my treatment? It was on about um, 
ways you can maximize <clears throat> your videos. And when I looked, the time slots that I've chosen for my videos to slot were actually two of the time slots they mentioned, but one of them was not. And the strangest thing happened, right, the other night <clears throat> that made me want to try it. I have, I mean, look at my analytics and I've got my, <laughs> my little watch thingy going like this and then in the dead of night it goes down here and then it goes back up. Well, at 11 o'clock, it went boing. And I thought, whoa, what happened then? You know, 11 o'clock, who would, what? I wish it told you what video that was for. But it was the strangest thing, it just went bang. And I thought, well, maybe there's something to these time ins then. So I scheduled one of my videos to come up at 11 o'clock last night. And guess what? It didn't go boing. <laughs> it just, I don't know what it did. I will look later. I haven't really studied my analytics this morning because I haven't even put the computer on. Not yet. <clears throat> I've been, um, well, shuffling around, trying not to hurt my feet, uh, had my shower, drank a cup of tea, watched the news about Israel and, um, you know, while I drank my tea, checked on my shop and on my phone, obviously, and uh, did my free spins on my gambling app. <laughs> I only gamble with the free money. It's a tip I got from Michael that there's one particular company. If anyone wants to know it is, I'll tell you, but I'm not going to advertise for them, you know. So um, who give you free spins and they give you two lots a day. You get this coin drop and then you can win free spins and then you get five free spins a day just by clicking on the get me five free spins a day. So you get you could get 10 free spins every day. Sometimes you only get three on the other thing, the drop. Sometimes you get none. Very rarely you get none. Sometimes you get nothing from it. And sometimes you get pennies. Well, I got like £1.80 today from my free spins. So that wasn't bad because then with that money, it mounts up. And then you think, well, OK, I'm going to bet on Arsenal or I'm going to bet on England rugby, which I did but I bet on Samoa, <clears throat> so that didn't go well. Anyway, didn't matter. It was only a pound. So, yeah, um, there you go. But it wasn't a pound of my money, so it's fine. But it gives me something to do with my hands at a time when I think, oh, I've got my free spins, and I go and have a little spin -a But the thing is, don't use your own money and don't use your spins to buy spins. <clears throat> Although the first time I ever, um, when Michael showed me, I went through my five free spins and accidentally hit it again and I won 20 odd quid. So it's like, whoa, I'm stopping now because I didn't realise, but I spent a pound. But, you know, you had to upload a certain amount of money. I think it was 10 pounds. They give you 30 to spend on bets, but they're three 10 pound bets that don't last long and they don't win. <laughs> well, if you're lucky, they win. But, you know, I'm never lucky. Not really. Oh, stitch markers. I wonder where they went. Um, so yeah, there it is. Looking for the moisturiser. Um, <clears throat> we're nearly out of this one, Linda. Not that I'm hinting you should send me another one, but I still haven't been in the body shop to get any. I have to um take it along with me next time I go near one and get the same thing. Cause I quite like the smell. Takes me back. Takes me back to the seventies. <laughs> I know, but you know, I was a child, let's just say, and um, my mum used to run this huge pub back then, and there was two sides to it. There was one building that was a pub, and then there was one building that was a very, very, very busy nightclub, and she ran the nightclub, called the Long Bar, to the people that knew it. And um, during the day, she turned it into kind of a, a restaurant, cafe, and that was busy. And then after a couple of hours break, it would become a nightclub until sometimes three in the morning, you know. So, yeah, my mum didn't sleep much. She was a bit of an on-the-go kind of girl. Very, very much so. My dad used to call her a bomb head or a blonde bomber. 
because she was always on the go, unlike him. He was an armchair kind of critic, you know, one of those like, that needs doing, Joan. That sort of thing. Bless him. He was a lovely man, my dad. You know, he could have advised me on the horse betting if he was only around. Not that I ever bet on the horses, but, you know, if he was around, I could say to him, OK, Dad, who shall I put my money on? And he would be able to tell me. <coughs> anyway, that's what I was doing with my morning. So I haven't looked at my analytics yet, but I will do. And I'll see if I've had that little boing. But somehow I don't believe I will get a boing. Only boing that I'm going to get is... How many times do I press the boing by mistake? How many times do I press the boing by mistake? <laughs> Where is it? Oh! <laughs> There's got to be a boing here somewhere. There you go. I just saw a spring. I'm trying to do it without looking. All of them. All of them. <laughs> <sighs> I've got an itchy nose. Right there. Right on, the, right on there. Uh, every time I've got cream on my hands, it's like a psychosomatic thing. It's a good word, isn't it? But um, I get cream on my hands and I think, right, now I don't want to touch anything. And it's like, your nose really itches. Or oh, you've got a hair, you know, in the way. And you want to rub this eye. You know, that always happens. <clears throat> it's like my body's saying, hey, you don't, got you don't want to touch it, do you? But whoa, it is a little bit. Or is it just me? Probably. Probably is just me. I've got a nice cup of tea, but it is burning hot here. And I've got moisturising one. Oh, actually, might be all right. Oh, bliss. That is lovely. So today, I might do said tutorial while it's fresh in my mind. I do... Oh, a gurgle. <clears throat> it wasn't a burp, it was a gurgle. It just went... Blah. Um, I have an open with me... Oh, goodness gracious. Why does that happen on camera? I have an open with me to film um, for the following week, unless I do it in the midweek. And my, oh, it's giveaway day, isn't it? Nearly forgot. Do you know what? There was a few old ladies. We went to the cinema the other day to see that film about um, The Great Escaper. And obviously it's about an elderly gentleman and um, Michael Caine's in it. And there was a lot of old people in the cinema. Hang on, I'm going to have a bit of a slurp. Luckily, the woman who mistook me for an old person wasn't there. But um, <clears throat> anyway, there was lots of elderly people and they were yeah, 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 like this during the adverts. So I just thought, oh, they're worse than young people, you know. You know, you go to the cinema and young people are like... Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just looked at Gary and I went, I hope they shut up. Right. <laughs> so he said, it's only the ads. I went, I oh, know. But all you could hear, right, was all of them talking at once for a start. And every now and then one of them would go, oh! <laughs> It's definitely an old person thing, isn't it? Oh! <clears throat> so I'm ne I vowed that I'm never going to go, oh, about anything. Because that just means I'm old, if I do. <laughs> but they do. You just like, every now and then you just hear this, oh! <clears throat> and amongst all this, tick -tick -tick. luckily. Do you know what is funny, right? Watching the, the trailers and all of a sudden... A trailer came on and it had Anthony Hopkins in it and obviously is not young. So that was the only time they went zoom. I thought, get another oldie on the screen and they'll watch it, you know. As soon as that stopped, it was ning -a ning -a ning -a ning -a ning again. Oh! <laughs> oh, bless them. Thankfully, though, they didn't murmur all the way through the film, so that was all right. They were captivated, I suppose, by, you know, all the old stuff that they remembered when they were young. Yeah. <clears throat> and luckily, as I say, the woman who mistook me for an elderly person wasn't, wasn't there. Probably got the sack. 
She would look older than me. That was a thing. Probably why it was on her mind. How rude. Anyway, I'm not bitter. Not in the slightest. <laughs> So yeah, today is giveaway day. I will go out in the caravan. Well, a yarnavan. We will call it what it is. A yarnavan. Oh! <laughs> no, hang on. Oh! I might do a live stream later, but not on here. If I do it, I'll do it on Roxy. I really want to scratch my nose now. I've got cream on my hands. Oh, it's so annoying. Bear with me a sec. I'm back. I did it. I couldn't, I couldn't resist it anymore. It just... The itching was unbearable. It's red now, isn't it? Anyway, I might do it. <laughs> oh, I might. No, so I won't do it anymore. It's very annoying. I should have one on here, shouldn't I? Old lady. Oh, <laughs> maybe I'll invent that button. Ready? Oh, <clears throat> oh, I can't do it. From... Can I do it like a ventriloquist? Oh, I said I wouldn't do it anymore, didn't I? Sorry. Anyway. <clears throat> I'll go out in the yarn van later, choose some yarn from a giveaway or stuff. Put it that way, it might be stuff. And then um, I might come in and do a live stream over on Rocksteady because, you know, I should be out and about. There is the glorious sunshine, absolute glorious sunshine out there today. So I should be out and about doing that. But you know why I'm not? Partly is because I have treatment on my... <laughs> oh, I have treatment on my feet that you know, will be interrupted um, if I have to put normal shoes and socks on. I'm trying to get rid of it so really desperately to get rid of it. So at the moment, I have those silicon sock things under my socks, keeping that moisturiser and everything in. And it's working to a certain extent. Every time I think it's going, then I look and I've st it's not. So, um, yeah, it it's working and then... It's not working as quick as I'd like, but, you know, I'm going to keep going because I can't really get an appointment for the doctor until around about Wednesday, Thursday, by which time I might even have my dermatology appointment. But, you know, I can't say, right, OK, doc, I've saved up all these skin things for you. So you better listen. There's about 10 of them. You know, they don't really they don't really like that sort of thing. <laughs> they don't funny that way doctors it's I only came you've only got one thing just give it to me but but I've got several then you should have booked six appointments shouldn't you that's usually the GP I've only got you've got a five minute appointment or a ten minute well why is it everybody else seems to take forever when they go in there because they booked 20 appointments in one maybe I don't know <clears throat> <laughs> So yeah, today I will maybe do the tutorial if I get the time. I'll maybe do a, a, give, a giveaway. Yeah, I will be doing a giveaway. I'll maybe do a live stream over on Rocksteady. And um, I have to cook. That's my day. That is it. So um, if if I feel like it, I might whip off, the, <laughs> whip off the feet, put on proper shoes and socks and go out. But I don't really want to. Because every time I set foot outside the door, I don't know about you, but I spend money. And it's like, you know... If I didn't go out, I'd be rich. That's how it works. Not necessarily because they're online shops now, but you know what I mean. I go out and I spend money that I didn't really want to spend. And, you know, although I do need some point to figure out where I'm going to look for my next yarn shop. I've got an idea. I have. Whether it will come off, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. So I don't think I've forgotten anything today. And I don't think there's anything else I haven't told you. No, I don't think so. So I'm going to get off and upload this and go and have some breakfast, get my day off and to a start, and I will, I'll see you on the next one. Watch out for me, and I will so watch out for you. Bye bye. Before I go, oh, couldn't resist it. Couldn't resist it.